boosting business success with diversity and inclusion. In this era of globalization, diversity in the business environment is about more than gender, race, and ethnicity. It now includes employees with diverse religious and political beliefs, education, socioeconomic background, sexual orientation, culture, and even disabilities. Companies are discovering that by supporting and promoting a diverse and inclusive workplace, they are gaining benefits that go beyond the optics. Embracing many dimensions of difference and creating a culture of inclusion are key success factors for companies today. A Boston Consulting Group study found that companies with more diverse management teams have 19% higher revenues due to innovation. This finding is significant for tech companies, startups, and industries where innovation is a key drive for growth. There is no doubt that workplace diversity can boost innovation, better problem-solving capabilities, better customer engagement, and profit. There are different types of diversity that one must pay attention to, whether you are into hiring, leading, or managing people. So let's look at different types of diversities that is required for a greater workplace today. Number one, gender diversity. Achieving gender equality is important for workplaces, not only because it is a nice to have or a fair thing to do situation, but because it's also linked to a company's overall economic performance. According to McKinsey, the most gender diverse companies are 21% more likely to experience above average profitability. That's good news. Companies that don't encourage women to join them are missing out on the talents and abilities of half the population. Women bring in perspectives and point of views that are different from men. Women are more empathetic and they possess stronger skills in reading nonverbal cues. You see, customers come from all walks of life. Women are hugely influential when it comes to making purchasing decisions. According to a study done in 2018, Women globally spend about 40 trillion US dollars. That's a lot of buying power to connect with. Two, age diversity. Different age groups in a team can drive better performance. A workforce composed of different age demographics creates an environment where each generation brings in different skills and talent to the table. Indeed, companies that don't embrace a multi-generational workplaces are narrowing down their options. Rather than considering the multi-generational workforce as a liability or a challenge, managers would be better looking at it as an opportunity. There is a tendency in tech companies to favor young candidates when recruiting for new positions. Younger generation may have an advantage when it comes to technological fluency and the latest trends, but older generations have a head start in other areas. Attributes such as leadership, strategic thinking, industry knowledge, emotional intelligence and soft skills can take decades to develop and these will be much sought after skills in the future of work. Having a multi-generational workforce will strengthen your business processes. Having a mature funnel of ideas from older workers as well as fresh input from younger employees can expand a business horizons. In many sense, age diversity also means skill diversity. Just as young employees bring certain qualities to the table, so do the older ones. An organization which has diverse skill can meet the demands of all age category of customers. Experience of the older workforce and fresh ideas of the younger workforce is a great combination to generate new ideas that can lead to better innovation. You see, people with good experience will always have matured opinion that will execute ideas from freshers in a systematic approach. In this way, all the interesting ideas or opinions will come to execution much faster. Age diversity can also create mutual mentors in an organization. Organization can launch initiatives such as a two-way mentoring program, which have several advantages to consider. Primarily, experienced workers can teach their younger workers everything they know and vice versa. Age diversity can work completely on your favor if you know how to reduce the downsides of it. One of the most common challenges which age diversity faces is a lack of communication. Also, different age groups have different work priorities. What might seem attractive to a young employee may not necessarily spark the same level of interest with older employees. 
Moreover, prejudices, ego tussles, and political favorism within groups can deteriorate the boons of the age diversity. Then thirdly, you have racial, ethnic, or cultural diversity. Cultural diversity in the workplace is a result of practices, values, traditions, or beliefs of employees based on race, age, ethnicity, religion, or gender. From your customer standpoint, having a diverse workforce builds trust in your brand with a diverse target market. Today, leading corporations attract and retrain uh, multicultural, multi-talented workforces with an aim to serve a multitude of new customers in emerging and unexplored markets. Cultural diversity is an excellent strategy for high economic output. If you study the GDPs of certain cities like New York, Dubai, London, and Singapore, you will learn that cities with higher cultural uh, diversity scores always over other cities. Research shows that there is a direct correlation between high-skill immigration and increase in the level of innovation and economic performance in cities and regions. If you're looking for business expansion to enter new regions and markets, then you must take cultural diversity seriously. A multicultural workforce can give an organization an important edge when expanding to new markets. Often a product or service needs to be adapted to succeed overseas. Your culturally diverse workforce can give you a native and first-hand information about local laws, regulations and customs as well as a competitive landscape of each market. If your organization has a reputation for being culturally diverse and then you have a better edge at attracting the best talent pool. Higher educated candidates who have experienced diversity while at university may feel that a diverse company is more progressive and therefore they would want to work there. Value in diversity also gives the company the freedom to go after the most talented people regardless of differences. According to a Glassdoor survey, Two-thirds of the job hunters indicated that diversity was important to them when evaluating companies and job offers. In a competitive global job market, demonstrating that your business is invested in fostering a multicultural and inclusive environment can make you stand out. Companies increasingly understand the value of recruiting and retraining diverse employees as these workers play a critical role in a company's ability to adapt, grow, and sustain a competitive advantage in the modern business landscape. However, some companies fail to recognize the benefits of having a racially and ethnically diverse workforce. Factors such as prejudices and stereotypes towards certain racial or ethnic groups, whether conscious or unconscious, can lead to discriminatory practices in hiring. Then there is implicit bias, also known as the unconscious or the hidden bias. Implicit biases are negative associations that people knowingly or unknowingly hold in their minds. They are expressed automatically without conscious awareness. Implicit biases are expressed through cultural prejudices and stereotypes. Therefore, companies must train their people to eliminate their unconscious bias or implicit bias. Other diversities, other diversities like disabilities and diversity in sexual orientation, LGBT community, political or religious views must also be inclusive for diversity and inclusion. The very purpose of diversity and inclusion is to treat everyone with fairness, respect and equality. Diversity means difference. A team works best not when its members are identical, but when they are compatible, complementary, and able to cooperate. That's why a group of people who think and work alike may ultimately fail, while a dream team of disparate individuals might be extremely successful. Bottom line, multiple voices, perspectives, and personalities bouncing off ideas with each other can give a rise to out-of-the-box thinking. Team diversity can clearly add strength, but it's up to the manager who creates the team to make sure that diversity leads to an invigorating environment that sparks innovation, creativity, and fresh thinking rather than just hard for job in reconcilable differences. With so many different and diverse minds coming and working together, many more solutions arise. 
as every individual brings in their personal way of thinking, operating and solving problems and making decisions. Companies that encourage diversity in the workplace inspire all the other employees to perform to their highest ability. Ultimately, the true benefit of diversity and inclusion is perspective power. Cognitive diversity challenges the status quo, makes teams and companies to innovate and thrive in this ever-changing business landscape. It's important to turn knowledge into actionable policies while considering diversity and inclusion. Here are a few action steps that you can take if you want to include diversity and inclusion in your workplace. Number one, create written policies. Companies should include their policy in relation to diversity in their employee handbook. The policy should contain information about non-discrimination laws, the code of contact, and the compensation and the benefit policy. Number two, impose a zero tolerance policy. After employees have received the handbook training about diverse issues, the company needs to set the tone about how violations will be dealt with. Employees should be aware that inappropriate behavior will not be tolerated and every reported incidence will be taken seriously. Number three, provide sensitivity training. Employees should be provided with sensitivity training to create a better workplace culture. Sensitivity training can help employees to eliminate implicit biases, value views that are different, understand words and action that cause offense, and what needs to be done if they have been offended. Fourth in the action list is keep diversity and inclusion a top priority when you're hiring. Embrace differences. Search for candidates who aren't just like you. They'll bring in different point of views to the table and that can contribute valuable insights. Find a hiring strategy that boasts gender diversity without ignoring merit. Researchers found that when women feel that they have been hired to fill quotas, it negatively impacts their relationship with their co-workers. Number five in the action list is to get specific. Look at diversity within each business unit of your company, not just the overall. This can ensure that departments and team is positively impacted. Form teams with diversity and inclusion in mind. When people get too comfortable with their age category, gender, or start getting comfortable due to language, religion, or regional connections, they tend to form groups within groups. This largely hinders the growth of the company. Cultivate an engaged work culture that encourages men and women from different age groups and ethnic backgrounds to form productive relationships and motivates teams to boost performance. Another important tip in the action list is to choose political leaders who value inclusiveness. Work environment can reflect a lot of political views. There is a growing polarization fueled by identity politics and resurgence in nationalistic ideas. Building social cohesion based on the us versus them model work well for political formations of ideologies, but it's a tombstone for organizations that want to benefit from cultural diversity and inclusion. Differences should not stop you from embracing diversity. You must learn to complement differences. Whenever you put different groups of people together, some conflicts are bound to arise, and workplace by no means immune to this phenomenon. Knowing that a good chunk of management involves understanding employees' motivations, backgrounds, and goals, you will learn to negotiate and build on differences as well as similarities.